tra tracking some calm, quiet conditions. Mm. It's clear out there. It really is a nice, peaceful start to the morning. It really is, and it's all thanks to that front. Yesterday, the winds were pretty breezy. They're going to be a little bit more on the calm side for today, but it's still going to make it feel a little chilly as you're heading out the door. Temperatures are ranging, really just depends on where you are, but we've already seen some upper 40s, so expect that to continue as we go here in the next few days. If you're one of the type to, you know, go in that early walk or jog, definitely want to have some long sleeve shirt or a sweater or something as you're stepping out today. So Wade's RV Weather Camera Network, here's a few of our cameras. It's quiet, very peaceful start to the day. In fact, expect those clear skies to continue today. So definitely have the sunglasses on the way out the door. Temperature wise, like I'm talking, we've got some 40s in the area and also some of those 50s, which is the really good news here. So 52 degrees, Tulsa 50 over towards Claremore, mainly cooler areas over towards the Oklahoma Kansas border. but. If you're going out today, 53 degrees should see those temperatures still dipping down slightly and only about 60 by 11 o'clock. Believe it or not, our afternoon high for today is going to be so nice, 72 degrees. We can say goodbye to those 90s, which has been miserable considering we're already in the middle of October. It has not felt like fall whatsoever. We're already finally starting to see some nice fall like conditions. So our normal for this time is 75 and it's so nice to say we're tracking below normal temperatures and these do look to stick around as we go here in the next few days, which is the good news. We can finally pull out the sweaters, the sweatshirts, all of that. You're going to need that, especially as we go here in the next few days, because the temperatures are just going to continue to drop. So we have lower 40s tomorrow morning. And then as we go towards the afternoon, very similar to today, we do have low 60s. However, we do have very strong northeasterly winds expected for tomorrow. So we could see some wind gusts upwards of 25. So not only are you factoring in breezy northeasterly winds and with those clear skies, it's going to make it feel a little bit cooler out there. And then Tuesday night from the breezy winds, we're going to be talking about potential wind chill values. So that's something we haven't said in a while. So we're going to be waking up Wednesday morning in the 30s, that's right, upper 30s Wednesday morning. By the afternoon, we're only going to warm up in the 60s, so we're really going to be chilly out there. Wednesday's going to be the coldest day so far this week, and then we're really just going to keep temperatures remaining in the low 70s for Thursday. Upper 70s, so near seasonably average temperatures look to stick around Friday, even into the weekend. This is the week not only to dress appropriately for the fall light weather, which is what we've been waiting for, but also if you want to go take advantage to the pumpkin patch, really do all of those fall like activities that you maybe have been holding off for uh, to really wait for that cooler temperature. So we'll continue to monitor uh, these conditions because unfortunately it still looks dry and was looking a little promising for this weekend. But as you can see, we have now looked to be a little bit more on the dry side.